Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here, say it with me, just in time. That's right, just in time for another campground experiential video. I know up there, it says that we are at Mother Neff State Park. We're headed there. Right now, I'm at Cedar Breaks State Park, Georgetown Lake. We had to come down here for Yappy's work. We'll be doing a lot of that, a whole lot of that. I'm gonna talk about that in just a minute. But I wanted to open with this, this really nice campsite here at Cedar Breaks State Park, or Cedar Breaks Campground. Cedar Break Park, Cedar Break Campground. Anyway, here at Cedar Breaks, I think this is probably one of the better campsites. Let's do a walk around real quick. I'm getting ready to leave. We're headed to Mother Neff. Well, of course, we got the big wooden patio cover, concrete patio picnic table that's chained down. We have a charcoal grill. And this, this is the last campsite for this we're on a 10 day journey. This is the only campsite where I'm gonna be able to, that charcoal's allowed, and provided it's inside a closed. Texas is dry, 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 dry. Texas is so dry right now. Uh, I think the whole state is in the middle of a burn ban. Every county, at least all the counties I'm camping in. So that's due west. We've got good Starlink coverage. We get a little bit of interruption, not too much. Site number 47. Asphalt pad, 50 amp and water. Plenty of shade from the cedar trees and the one live oak back there until about two o'clock. Two o'clock we start getting sun. But we've been able to maintain a temperature of about 79 degrees. And during August in Texas, having your RV at 79 degrees is pure luxury. It's not nearly as much. So the last time we were here, one of those sites up there, very challenging to to walk around the site because it was just there's so many rocks it was so unlevel but i think 47 is a, is a good site here at cedar breaks no blocks required to get level and we have a fire pit of course we're in a burn ban does us no good all right back to talking about okay i'm gonna have a video coming up I will not have posted it but uh, uh, yet, but I've put airbags on Trudy Thunder. Man, what a difference. I wish I'd have done that before I did the, the shocks. Of course, the shocks were necessary too. But anyway, so we're going to, I'm packed up. I'm going to get on the road. I'll get back with you when we get up to Mother Neff State Park. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the future of Dude RV because there's been some significant changes. I'll be back. And just like that, we're at Mother Neff State Park. It's only about an hour and a half at the most. We are in site number five. I love, I love Mother Neff State Park now that they've reworked the camping loop. Of course, that was quite some time ago. We were here Man, the last time we were here, we still we were still pulling a travel trailer. And I think we were in site number five then as well. I really like this site because it's got trees that give you shade from the western sun. That's east. We need all the sh we need all the shade we can get. So site number five, as with most of the sites now. <coughs> Here at Mother, most of the sites, most of the campsites here at Mother Neff State Park are full connection. Beautiful concrete pad that is so level. 
50 and 30 sewer of course you're going to need a, a hose cradle otherwise you'll have sewage sitting in your hose there is water also cedar elm tree that'll give us some shade from the western sun place to pitch a tent live oak trees giving us shade over an aluminum picnic table a fire pit of course texas is under a burn ban so we won't be using that and the ubiquitous lantern hook that is also a trash hook or a shorty lantern however you want to play it but we'll be camping in style we even have big rocks to sit on while you're burning wood if you could burn wood nice sight we're going to be getting a lot of sun so let me let me let me show you the little so uh, we're running with three air conditioners right now two on the roof that came with the motorhome and i have this set up intake and exhaust the problem with portable ac units in a in an rv is most of them exhaust your cold air here, I'll show you what I've done. Say hello to the Ratty Pack. So this little LG port portable AC cooler is a great third edition. It does take up a little room when we're traveling, but we can stick it behind the bed. Normally, this is where air is pulled in to blow across the coils blown back out this is the where the air intake for the inside air so there's two air systems on this little air conditioner so i've created a box and now we're pulling from outside and we're blowing the hot air back outside and that really helps when it's 115 degrees even with the modifications that I've made on the two roof mount, if we're in direct sun, it still gets hot. You know, we're lucky. And I, I think if you can keep your RV at 80 degrees when it's 115 degrees outside, I think you're doing really good. Uh, pickles on the road since the 80s is about the best they can do when it's really hot. All right. I'm going to eat and we'll go see some stuff. Mother Neff is the first Texas state park. It was constructed by the CCC. The camping loop is all new. That was rebuilt about 10 years ago. Originally, down, down here was where all the camping stuff was. But that's closed due to flood damage uh there's a bridge the leon river flows right here and there's a bridge and be, that bridge is, has caused a log jam and so anytime there's a heavy rain it just inundates that area now there's some cool hiking trails we may explore some of it it's really hot and humid i don't know how far we want to go with that but we are going to take the the e-bike and do a, a ride and see some of this stuff i would like to revisit the rock tower but meanwhile if there was any questions as to whether there's a a burn ban there is a flag and then there's smoky the bear telling us to be careful check this out we've got a dog poop station please please use that they, they didn't use that at the last campground. There was dog poop everywhere. Outside sink. 
What does that say? No food or shoe cleaning. Shoe cleaning? Must be a thing. <laughs> they wouldn't be putting it there. We got a little library. Check that out. All right, let's do a shower check. Whew, a little bit dark. Very modern, updated, handicap shower with a bench. Now that we've done that, a well-developed trail we'll definitely do some trail riding it's the rock tower foot trail and that's we're gonna ride that for sure national youth administration camp that operated here in 1940 was a new deal work relief program and this was where they did the cooking that was built by the CCC. What's really fascinating about, about Mother Neff State Park, since they built this, there's several fascinating things. One is you can hear Starlink, not Starlink, SpaceX, their engine, engine facilities about five miles away, so you can hear it, hear them testing. So the, the campground, the renovation here at Mother Neff State Park was really done around the CCC camp because the loop was built where the, right here in the middle of the camp. So we had barracks, uh, the parade ground so there's panels the museum at the front office i probably i probably won't make it up there because we're only here for today and it's so hot but in my previous video i toured the museum i really do want to go see that but it is it is fascinating when you're camping here in that one, one of the fascinating aspects of camping in Mother Neff is your proximity to the ruins of the CCC camp. Bessie Yappy, let me talk to her. It's the big bell. I didn't see that last time. The only way I know is I saw it from the road when I was coming in. That's actually the dinner bell. For years, they didn't know where the CC had mounted the bell. It wasn't until 18, 2018, Charlotte Wright West was going through old family photos and found some pictures from the 40s showing the bell. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. And there's a placard right here. I don't know what it says. Ah. That is showing where the flagpole. So, that's where the flagpole was. All right. Let's, let's go see a fish pond. Yeah, that's the fish pond. I'm surprised there's actually water in it. There must be a seep there. Hard to tell how deep it is. We got a couple places for you to sit and relax. I spooked a couple deer when I rode up. They ran off before I could pull out the camera. 
We're here. We started out here. Pretty nice bird blind. All right, let's go, let's go find some more stuff. If you're planning a trip to Mother and F State Park and you're gonna have little ones with you, you'll be happy to know. There's a place for you to hang out under the live oak trees in the shade while, while they're playing on the playground. And the playground, it's got some fun stuff. If a tic-tac-toe board, we have the Smokey the Bear, I don't know, jail, I guess? A sandbox. Not really sand in it, though. It's more of a gravel. We have a slide. With some big old logs. A little teepee. A bench. A bunch of benches. What's a group of benches called? I don't know. And of course, we got an armadillo. Would things would not be complete in Texas without an armadillo. And that's a good reminder. Dillo days is coming. Are you ready? First first weekend in February. We got we got to ride the armadillo. Yeah! Dillo Days is coming. I'm headed to Dillo Days. Let's go. We're, we're going to Dillo Days. Man, this armadillo is hot. The Rock Tower. On my last visit that I was here, I went all out with with uh, <laughs> cameras. You see my speaker wire with cameras going, showing me going up and down and. Yeah, we're not doing that today. Nothing but treetops, as far as I can see. We made it to the top of the tower. So Mother Neff State Park was initially was built on land donated to the state by Pat Governor Pat Neff's mother. And he had this grand vision of a park temporary park residence of, available for distinguished guests. Uh, planners kind of thought that meant the Governor Neff. But anyway, I came up with a compromise. This was the caretaker's cabin. And I doubt it's open. Yeah. So it's now a four, it's, it's been remodeled since the original construction. It's now a four bedroom cabin. And it's available for rent. So you and a bunch of your family and friends and or friends can rent this cabin and visit Mother Nest State Park in complete style. I didn't say that, they said it right here. In style. They're using my words. That one's locked as well. No matter. We got, we got some places to go and stuff to see. So let's go see some stuff. This is, I'm on the Wash Pond Trail. This board talks about how important the Wash Pond, this little area really is. No swimming. According to that sign, it actually holds water 
even in times of drought. Well, we've been in a several years long drought in just about every lake that I've visited in the central and west Texas has been uh, unbelievably low. And wouldn't you know it, the wash pond is dry. No washing happening here. Even the last time I was here, there was it, there was water in it. It wasn't full, but there was more water in it than now. Sad day. All right, let's go find some more stuff. No swimming. <laughs> no problem. Mother Neff State Park. Tonkawa Cave was once prime real estate. So if you got a big old heavy Texas thunderstorm, <laughs> a big Texas thunderstorm, this would be a good place to get out of the weather. But right now it's just hot. It's actually about the same temperature in the cave as it is out of the cave. All right, let's go find some more stuff. people going to work this morning on the farm to market right over there other than that this, this is a quiet little campground and empty there's still I mean that we had one roll in yesterday late so there's there's two camper three campers and two park so there are, are three people camping and two hosts very peaceful except for the commuter traffic. Mother Neff State Park, nice little park. I really like what Texas Parks and Wildlife has done with, with this 
Little State Park. It'll be really cool if they ever get the, the river bottom reopened. That way you have the, the whole park experience. What else can I say? Bathrooms, showers are great. There's no dump station here. All they have the all of the campsites are full connection, so there's no need for a dump station. This is a great waypoint stop. It's not too far off of 35. Definitely a nice little destination. Now, granted, after about two days, you're gonna have hiked all the trails and seen all the stuff. And the rest of the time, I guess if you're here for a week, the rest of the time you're just hanging out. Well, I can't say it enough. You need to come visit Mother Neff State Park. We've enjoyed our, we always enjoy staying in this little campground. I did give you some bad information on my campsite yesterday though. So, we're pretty much pointed due east. Uh, and I thought east was over here. So when the afternoon sun came in yesterday, we had a little shade, but this wall was full exposed, fully exposed. Uh, and, and we had some gusty wind, so I had to put the awning away. So sunset was right over there. As that was all. And that's the end of your report. We're done here. We're gonna pack up. Hold on, let me sit back down. We're done here at Mother Neff State Park. We're moving closer to buzzard days. And of course, you'll have already seen the buzzard days video, but uh, that's the direction we're heading. We're gonna go from here to West Loafers Bend, right by the Lake Whitney Dam. So, but anyway, we're done. If you found some value, I would appreciate it if you'd click on that thumbs up and blast us out across your social media. Really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. That also really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And for those of you who have been following along, we are so grateful. Thank you. That's why we get to do this. Uh, we really appreciate your assistance in that. And for my patrons, we are extremely grateful. You guys rock. All right. Y'all come back now, you hear?